Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to learn all about redaction. We can mark different markups for redaction, and we can also mark up vector data text for redaction. And we can do this in many ways. Firstly, we can get the two shortcuts for redaction at the top of our screen if we turn them on. So if we right click next to an existing group of tools, we can see that redaction is right here. And it includes these two buttons initially, mark for redaction and apply redactions. Before we use them, let's say that you can't find these two tools. You can find them in the edit dropdown, mouse over PDF content, and in the same area that we have cut, erase content, edit text, etc., we also have mark for redaction. And you'll notice that mark text for redaction is currently grayed out. And that's because we actually need to use select text or select all text in order to get our text that we can mark automatically. So mark for redaction is more manual and mark text for redaction is an automatic process that works with select text. For example, I'm going to use select text right now. I'm going to zoom in on this area right here, Open Office 200. Let's say that we want to mark this for redaction. This isn't going to be an office anymore, for example. So we're just going to highlight the text. It's vector data, so it highlights perfectly. If it was raster data, this would not necessarily work. Now I've let go. And now while the text is still highlighted, I have some choices. Of course, I can right click on it and I can copy it and I can do some very good things like that. But instead, I can go to Edit, PDF Content, and there it is. Mark text for redaction is now available. So when I use this, it automatically places a perfect redaction rectangle on top of the text. And you'll notice that if I mouse over this, basically it covers the text in black. And this is just for viewing purposes. Right now, nothing has really been done yet. This is just marked and ready to go. Now, before we continue, let's use the regular mark for redaction tool, and we'll just use it on some text. For example, I've placed some text right here. So let's just click on mark for redaction right up here. And it's going to give us a warning. And this is very important to read because redactions are very particular in this program. And you can even apply some copyright and some uh, law abiding text to it. So use it to select areas containing sensitive information to mark for permanent removal from the PDF. The information will not be removed until apply redactions is selected. That's essentially what I just explained. So I like to see this message every time just in case. But if you want to, you can click do not show this message again if you're working on a lot of redactions and using this very often. So I'm going to click OK. Now, properties automatically opens itself. I can actually change how my redaction is going to look right here under appearance. So for example, we have that border color of red that we saw earlier right down here. It's a darker red than usual. And then we have this redact color of black. So when we mouse over it, we see that it turns black just like this. So now that we have the tool ready and we're going to keep the default settings as they are, I'm going to make a box around this. And that's how this works, essentially. You basically click and you can make a box. And so I'm going to box it just like that. OK, and just like before, we can see that the text is ready to be redacted. And this is essentially how we mark things for redaction. Now let's apply our redactions. Now that we've marked some vector data and a markup for redaction, we're ready to apply our redaction. So let's press Escape so that we're not going to make another redaction. I'm going to hide my properties bar. And we can go right up here to apply redactions. This dialog is very wordy, but don't worry. I'll break it down for you all. Essentially, applying redactions will permanently remove all content, as you can see right here. And this is not going to be completed until the document is saved. Now, once the document is saved, the redaction cannot be undone. This is similar to flattening by right clicking and just flattening something. So to keep the original version of a document, you can save as. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go one step further. I'm going to cancel out of that dialog, save what I've got. It actually says it has redactions that haven't been applied. Do I want to continue? Sure. They haven't been applied yet, so I don't mind. So now I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go Save As. Now, instead of doing that, I do have the Save As button toggled here, but I went there just for you guys. You might not have this shortcut enabled. You can learn that in another tutorial that I made. And this is saying that they haven't been applied. Do I want to continue? Yes, that's fine. And we're just going to save this as underscore, whoops, underscore redacted. There we go. I can spell redacted. Perfect. So we're going to click on save. Now, just in case, if we do want to maybe go back and 
edit this if we need to. We have the original copy. This is also a good idea when you sign. It's nice to have the original working copy of a PDF, and then you can sign, and if there's any mistakes or if you want to change your signature, it's a very good idea to do this. All right, so now we can go back to Apply Redactions. And now let's read the next bit of text. Under Additional Items to Delete is a list of other items that may be potentially contain sensitive info. Ah, good idea. Of course, so down here we can delete basically a lot of things and mark it all for redaction automatically. Before we do that, let's start from the top. We can choose which pages we're going to redact information from. In this case, we just want to switch this to the current page, so we're just going to redact two different items here. And under Redaction Options, we can see that we have some very interesting options. So if we just redacted a markup just now, but we don't check delete only markups, then we're not really going to get rid of it. It's not going to redact properly. Right now, by default, delete only form fields is there because usually we're redacting different form field information that somebody may have filled out on a page, for example. But in this case, we're not going to do that. We're just going to do some markups. So we're going to uncheck that, check this. And if we wanted to, we can also delete the items from the PDF altogether. I still want to see the redaction line, so I'm actually going to leave that unchecked. Now, if I wanted to, I could also click on Add Files, so you can redact more than one file at once. It doesn't just have to be one file and all of its pages. It can be one file, all of its pages, and another, and another, and another. Now, let's click on Advanced, and let's see this, these options right here. Redaction filters may not remove all content marked for redaction. <gasps> oh, no. For example, text may be represented as vector data and would not be removed if only text was selected. Ah, isn't that interesting? It is recommended that no color is used as a redact color when using filters. Now that's interesting to know. So what that means is that the vector data that I used with select text must be checked for vector right here if I want to redact it. If I uncheck this, it's not going to redact it even though I place the box around it. So redactions are very particular. You can stop them from deleting vector data if you want to. But in this case, we actually do want them to not necessarily delete, but to mark for deletion, essentially. So this is perfect. We can even include images here if we wanted to. So this is perfect. Text is going to apply to our markups, I believe, and vector will apply to content, so to speak, on our document. So we're going to click OK. All of that is good. And the additional items down here are not toggled on, and they will be if I check delete following items from the PDF. So for example, all markups is not available, but we could check basically everything else here. So in this case, I don't want to delete things from the PDF, but you can see that we can literally delete all of our bookmarks, document properties, et cetera, et cetera. So if we wanted to really lock certain information from being shared with somebody, we can do this. But we're not going to do it in this case. We're just going to mark it for redaction, essentially, and apply that black line going right through it. So now we're going to click OK. Redaction has happened, and there it is, ladies and gents, and we can see this nice black line. Now, interestingly enough, I can't click on this anymore. This is not a markup. You can't edit it. This has become, you could say, vector data, and the black line is here. Now, this still has some smart properties, but it is essentially flattened to the page, and now your redaction is complete, and you're ready to send this to whoever you need to. Thanks very much for watching our tutorial on redactions in Bluebeam Review. Once again, my name is Ari, and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day.